So what do you do when you're feeling anxious or nervous? Well, let me share this little breathing exercise that I do to help calm my nerves. Just Steffi here sharing my tips as I get back on track to leading a more active, healthier, and more intentional life. Please make sure to hit the like button below, consider subscribing and uh, tapping on that notification bell so that you know each time I upload a new video. So let me share this little breathing exercise that I have been doing for many years. I actually heard it on the radio years and years ago. Honestly, can't remember um, what show it was on, what radio station, but I heard it on the radio and it always stuck, uh, stuck with me and I immediately started uh, practicing it. And I've found that over the years, I've actually uh, used this breathing exercise uh, many, many times um, throughout the week. And uh, now I actually find myself doing it almost every day. Anyway, it's a very simple, simple uh, breathing exercise. It takes a total of about 20 seconds to do one rep. Um, now, if you find that the inhales or exhales are a little too long for you, then, you know, please adjust it accordingly until you can work out, uh, work up to um, those lengths. But uh, like I said, it's a 20 second uh, uh, cycle and you can do it as many or as little as you like. So let's get started. Counts one to four, you want to inhale slowly, making sure to fill your lungs with air and also expanding your diaphragm. From counts five to 11, you want to hold your breath. Then from counts 12 to 20, you want to exhale slowly through your mouth and um, feel the air leaving your lungs as you contract your diaphragm. Now, the hardest part for me was actually um, that exhale piece, right? Because it's kind of a long, you know, it's eight counts, right? Um, eight to nine counts. So it took me a while to be able to extend my, my exhale for that long. So make, like I said, make sure to adjust the, the length of inhale and exhale um, that, you know, where you feel comfortable, but it's something to work up to. Now, if you're feeling dizzy in any part of this, please make sure to stop uh, and breathe as normal as you usually do. Um, and also make sure to see a healthcare provider in case, um, you know, you're not feeling well. But this is an easy uh, 20 second breathing exercise that I do. Um, I find very calming and very relaxing. We'll do two cycles and then uh, I'll share more info with you after. So let's get started. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Exhale, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Exhale, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. How did that go? Did you try it out? Uh, if you did, please make sure to comment below. Did you find it easy or hard? So when I do this exercise, I find that my heart rate, I can get my heart rate to come down if it's going a little faster. And I also feel immediately relaxed uh, and I start to feel more calm. So hopefully you, when you try this out, that you'll also find the same effects. And when do I do this? So I started doing this when I um, would first go to bed and uh, I had a hard time falling asleep. I would just have sort of racing thoughts and, you know, think my to-do list, you know, churning in my mind. So I started to do this breathing exercise to refocus on my breath. And that really helped me fall asleep a little bit faster. I also do this when I wake up in the middle of the night um, and my mind starts racing again. So I also do it then. Um, and I find that after a few uh, reps that uh, I'm actually able to fall asleep again. Now, obviously you can do this anytime you're feeling nervous or anxious, um, you know, before uh, a presentation, maybe you're going to have a rough day at work, maybe you, or a rough conversation with someone. So, um, you know, take a moment to uh, try this breathing exercise and hopefully it'll help uh, calm your nerves and um, relax you a little bit. But I also find that this exercise, this breathing exercise is helpful um, even when you are calm. 
Here's a good example. Over the weekend, my husband and I went out for a walk in one of our favorite places. And, um, you know, it was really super quiet and calm. And then as I was uh, looking out into the scenery, I was sort of, I just started doing this breathing exercise. And actually, it's what triggered me to share this with you. Because I found that even though I wasn't anxious or nervous, I wasn't actually breathing very deeply. So I did this uh, two or three times and I was able to look at the scenery and I, or a photo memory of it, of that scenery, you know, and as I was breathing, so I was keeping an eye on, on the way the sun, the, the sun was shining, the sky was blue, it was cold, <laughs> but I was still enjoying it. Um, and then also thinking about the smells and sort of how I was feeling. And I was feeling pretty good, um, but I could tell that I just was breathing not very deep. So doing this a few times actually helped me, one, even feel more calm or relaxed than I already was. And then second, it sort of helped me kind of realize that I, had, I did have a little bit of tension, even though, um, you know, my mind was okay. My body, I could tell it was kind of holding my breath uh, a little bit, um, you know, it was taking much shorter breaths. I love to encourage everyone to uh, move every day, but I also think it's important to focus on your breath every day. It gives your body and mind a chance to rest, to refocus and ground yourself. And I think you'll find energy and strength that you didn't know you had. Or if you can find an activity to pair this with. So for example, uh, I do this right before I go to bed. Um, and I find that just doing this exercise Every time when I turn off the light and then do this, it's something that I just do automatically. Now, um, the other time that I do do it again is usually when I first sit down at my desk in the morning to um, to start working. I do I do this breathing exercise uh, at least twice, and that helps me start off my day. So those are the there's two tips right there uh, on maybe pairing it during the day. One I'd love to hear if you gave it a try and what. Um, activity you paired it with. And then, uh, yeah, and if you have other breathing exercises that you do, um, please, I'd love to hear them and make sure to leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for joining me as we make every day count.